welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do another transfer. Last time I did this one and I used paper and transferred it to canvas. But today I wanted to try and use acetate. It's clear as you can see. And this is also heat resistant. And as my medium for this one, I'm just going to use my PVA glue. So I'm just going to show you the full process of using the PVA glue on the acetate, printing it and then transferring to another cameras. And hopefully this time it's going to look a little bit better than this one, but we'll have to just find out. Here you can see me adding some glue to the acetate. Unfortunately, I lost the original clip with the PVA glue, but it's going to be the same for every type of glue. For the best result, you need to add quite a lot of glue and you need to spread it as evenly as you can. I'm just using my finger. This way I can feel how much pressure I'm putting on the glue. And I found out that it leaves less marks than a brush. After I'm done, I put it aside and cover it so I don't get any dust inside of the glue. And it needs to dry for at least 24 hours, preferably a little bit longer. It needs to turn completely clear, otherwise it's going to make a really big mess in your printer. So I've got a quick tip if you have any glue on your silicone mat and you want to remove it. You just take your mat and it needs to be dry, the glue, and then you pull. Like that. You can pull from the other side. And then you just grab a sponge. And it comes right off. And now it's all nice and clean. Before printing, make sure you know how to put the sheet into your printer. The glue needs to be on top because you want the ink to be on top of the glue and not on the acetate sheet. When choosing your print settings, choose the setting for glossy photo paper and set the quality on high. It looks so cool. So this one is really dry. This is the side of the ink. So this is going to go onto the canvas. Let's just put it to the side. So I prepped my canvas by taping the sides and now I'm going to add some PVA glue, which is watered down a little bit. So it's this glue. It's the same we printed on. And I'm just going to spread a layer on top of here. I got these foam brushes in, so I hope this will make it a little bit easier to spread. The glue is still quite thick, but it should be thin enough to easily spread because if I put it on here without the water in it, it's really, really thick. So take your time to make sure everything has a nice coating. I think this is okay. So let me just quickly put this brush in some water so I don't ruin it like so. Now comes the tricky part. I want to place it on here and not move it around too much because I'm scared I'm going to uh, ruin the ink. It's really hard because it's see-through but it is not totally clear. Okay, I think that's it. So now we just try and rub away all the air bubbles, starting in the middle and then rubbing out to the outside. And because this is plastic, I'm not damaging my print. So that's another big advantage of this technique. So it looks like it's transferring, but not in the way I expected it. I really did expect it to stick down more and not go all splotchy, as you can see here. So I might have done something wrong. I might not have made my base uh, thick enough of the PVA glue, because I'm not sure if it actually transferred it to where it should be. It's not sticking. I really think I made it too thin. So either my mistake is water putting water in my glue or not having my transfer be thick enough because I really want to get it off with off of this back paper but I can't so let's just let this dry and see what happens and otherwise we will just have to try again so I think it's dry as you can see, it became a lot more see-through. So let's try and remove the top layer. And I'm going to carefully lift it and use my little tool to release the, the glue from the film. If I just try and take it off like this, as you can see here, there's still glue on it. And if I pull, it's going to take away the color from the base. So I'm just carefully trying to get it to lift. So let me just get that done and 
we'll peel the rest together. So it was just the part that was on the tape. I think because the, the glue didn't adhere to the tape. So... So much more vibrant than the other one so let's take off the tape and i'm going to pull slightly out because i don't want to damage the design it's not as clean coming off as i want it but i think there's a, a bit of the glue stuck I really hope this was going to be satisfying, but here we go. Let's try the other side. So I'll just clean up the edges off camera and put a layer of matte varnish on top because I think that will look better. Right now it's really, really shiny. Or maybe I'm gonna leave it shiny and just put a little bit of varnish on the edges because I want to protect the edges from anything coming underneath. But yeah, so this is how this one came out and I'll show you the rest in the final reveal. So a little tip if you want to reuse your sheets and you still have some glue on there. So take a little bit of tape. But you can just pull it off like that. And if you have a lot on here that's really, really thin, just use a bit of water and it will come right off. So here's the first transfer to canvas that I did. And it turned out really pretty. It kind of looks like watercolor. For this one I used the deco glue which is matte and printed onto paper. Let's look at them side by side. They look very different. This one is so vibrant and the color is way more saturated. For this one I used my normal PVA glue. It's so versatile I use it on a lot of my projects. The ink did start to smudge when I tried to remove the air bubbles. I think this is because the wet glue is dissolving the dry glue. But if you don't overdo it, the lines will come out nice and crisp. As you can see on this side, I did end up adding a matte top coat because I didn't like the shiny finish. Here they are and both techniques work, but I do prefer the colors of the second one. So what do you think? Which one do you like best? You can use this technique for a lot more. Let me show you some examples. This is just a tiny piece of hardboard I had laying around, which I painted white. I love how smooth it is. And this is just a scrap piece of MDF. I also painted this white because it makes the colors pop a lot more. Wouldn't it make a cute gift? What would you make? Please let me know down below in the comments, I would love to know. I already have a fun idea in my head that I want to try out. But for now, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye everyone!